Good morning, y'all. <laughs> Wake up. I'm up with you. <laughs> uh, I want to go back to sleep, <laughs> but I'm up with you. Hey, you can't have daytime without nighttime, y'all. Take the good with the bad. Uh, Sometimes random things pop up and you don't expect it. Little things happen, you don't expect it. You can have a good day the whole day. Right at the end of the day, something negative happened that you didn't see it to happen from nowhere. You know what I mean? Uh, you could lose something. Something gets stolen from you. Uh, misfortune. Things happen. I say that to say this. The same way like those little negative things be happening, be patient. Don't let it mess with you because I know exactly what I'm talking about. And I know who I'm talking about. <clears throat> I know who I'm talking to. Uh, same way those little negative things happen and they come expected from nowhere, it's a blessing coming around the corner to you too. Just be patient and don't get too mad or upset. Even though the world, people and sin have you that way, don't get too mad and upset with it. I take the good with the bad. Brother Job said it best. Shall we not accept good from God and not trouble also? He won't looking for it, but sometimes trouble come looking for you. Uh, but even with that, when it happened, don't be overcome by evil, but overcome evil with good. Uh, you do whatever you got to do to get through, but just be patient. Don't let it affect you too much. <clears throat> You're going to get through it. It happens, man. But nevertheless, all glory, honor, and praise go to my Father in heaven, Lord Jesus, and the sweet Holy Spirit. Got to give credit, honor, and glory to who it's due. Mm -hmm. All right. What day it is? I'm super tired. I don't know why. Uh, <laughs> November 9th, Wednesday, 5.53. Is y'all up with me? Give me a second, please. Okay. Give me a few seconds. I got to get right. <laughs> it's still early, man. All right. Mm -hmm. God bless y'all. Bear with me. <clears throat> Go to 2 Timothy. I like this. I don't know why this popped up, but it's here. Though. 2 Timothy chapter 2. <clears throat> I like this. Uh, verse 11. 2 Timothy ch chapter 2, verse 11. Brother Paul said, here's a trustworthy saying. If we die with him, we will also live with him. Amen. If we endure, we will also reign with him. Amen. If we disown him, he will disown us. Amen. If we are faithless, he remains faithful, for he cannot disown himself. I love that. If we die with him, who is him? Jesus. We'll also live with him. If we endure, if we endure suffering and hardship the same way Jesus did, we'll also reign with him. If we disown him, which means to completely deny him, as Lord in our heart, he will disown us. <clears throat> if we are faithless, as Brother Peter was, who disowned Jesus three times in front of men, but he never disowned him in his heart, as all, as a whole lot of people are, including myself, we all are faithless <laughs> to some extent. <laughs> uh, no one is righteous, amen. All fall short in sin. All sin and fall short of the glory of God. From Adam, from Brother Adam to John the Revelator, it's only been one person who ever walked this earth perfectly, baby, and that's Jesus Christ. Brother David, <laughs> King Solomon, with all the wisdom he had, they all sinned and fell short. And Lord Jesus, through his grace and mercy, covered them all. If we are faithless, he, re he remains faithful, for he cannot disown himself. You see, for we belong to him. When we, when we belong to him, he can't disown us. <laughs> I love that. All right, that just popped up in my head. <clears throat> but that wasn't the main jump I was going to. Go up into Psalms 115. <clears throat> uh, Psalms 115 say, Not to us, Lord, not to us, but to your name be the glory. Amen. I like this. Psalms 15, verse 1 say, Not to us, Lord, not to us, but to your name be the glory, because of your love and faithfulness. Amen. Why do the nations say, where is their God? Our God is in heaven. He does whatever pleases him. <laughs> Amen. But their idols are silver, are silver and gold made by human hands. 
They have mouths, but cannot speak. Eyes, but cannot see. They have ears, but cannot hear. Noses, but cannot smell. They have hands, but, but cannot feel. <clears throat> I like what the brother said. He said, why do the nations say, where is their God? Our God is in heaven. He does whatever pleases him. Amen. But their idols are silver and gold made by human hands. They have mouths, but cannot speak. Eyes, but cannot see. They have ears, but cannot hear. Noses, but cannot smell. They have hands, but cannot feel. Feet, but cannot walk. Nor can they utter a sound with their throats. Those who make them will be like them. Mm. Those who make them are idols, anything that takes the place of God in a person's life, and so being the God to, and so becoming a God to that person. If I love coffee more than I need God, that coffee has become an idol to me. Do <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Uh, where they, but these people had literally idols, little statues or whatever, worshiping little deities. <clears throat> Word up, he said. Those who make them will be like them, and so will and so will all who trust in them. All you Israelites, trust in the Lord. He is their help and shield. Amen. House of Aaron, trust in the Lord. He is their help and shield. Amen. You who fear him, trust in the Lord. He is their help and shield. Amen. <clears throat> the Lord remembers us and will bless us. I love this. The Lord remembers us and will bless us. He will bless us. He will bless his people Israel. He will bless the house of Aaron. He will bless those who fear the Lord, small and great alike. I like that. It don't matter. You ain't got to be no scholar. You ain't got to be no scholar in the Lord. You ain't got to have a whole lot of years of experience in this. I, I love this because uh, like Pharaoh, we, we, I'm still in the story of Joseph. When Pharaoh recognized uh, that Joseph, God speak, God use whoever he want to use to speak to the people. It don't matter about your status or whatever. Uh, Joseph was just a young Hebrew slave dude who was sold as a slave. And Pharaoh, king of Egypt, seen clearly that God was working through Joseph. And Pharaoh feared God so much that he listened to Joseph. When, the, when you fear the Lord, <clears throat> if you got respect for God, anyhow, anyway, even just a little bit, small and great alike, the Lord will bless that. I love that. Some people wonder why they go, go to certain places and make it out of certain places. Uh, you, you'll be surprised who fear God, who got some type of reverence for God in their, in their life. You see what I'm saying? Ain't nobody perfect. <clears throat> but uh, the Lord ain't looking for perfection. He's looking for devotion. Any Anyone who have reverence, uh, respect for him. Where? Just a little bit. <laughs> Where? You, you'll be surprised what, he, what he'll do with that. Uh, may the Lord cause you to flourish. May the Lord cause you to flourish, both you and your children. May, may you be blessed by the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. Amen. The highest heavens belong to the Lord, but the earth he has given to mankind. It is not the dead who play. It is not the dead who praise the Lord. Those who go down to the, to the place of silence. It is we. It is we who is thought the Lord, both now and forevermore. Praise the Lord. I like that. I like that. It's 2022. Uh, November, I believe it's election month or something. Uh, only reason I know that because I went to the DMV yesterday and that joint was closed. <laughs> Word up. Uh, we in bad shape right now. America in bad shape. The world been in bad bad shape. <clears throat> uh, uh, I ain't really a, a politician and none of that stuff or whatever, but uh, I hope whoever uh, the people pick uh, has some type of respect for the Lord. Because as you see in the world, it's uh, it's uh, they taking God out the place, man. Uh, they already they don't want people to pray in schools. Like you can get in trouble for for like, all right, you uh, I, I'm you get in trouble for for praying in school. I'm out there at work one time, and uh, uh, I had my I listened to my radio around the people. I like, to, I, like, I like to listen to my radio. It don't matter where I'm at. I'll be on my lunch break while I'm eating. I'll be on my lunch break eating. I cut the radio on uh, and listen listen to the word. And uh, I ain't, I ain't, I ain't, if people around listen, that's cool. But I'll be sitting down just chilling. And so happy people just hear. You know, they be, look, what you listen to? Whatever. And one lady, one of my boss ladies, uh, she actually pulled me to the side one day. She was like, uh, uh, Devontae, it's cool if you want to listen to your gospel music, your radio station or whatever, but I'm going to ask you to not listen to it here at work. Now, for a moment, that thing rubbed me wrong, because I was like, dang, 
what's wrong with me listening to the junk? Now, I ain't got a problem with people, how they live their lifestyle, but you got all types of people that work in here and do this and do that, and people act a certain way or whatever, and if y'all don't say nothing, if y'all ain't got a problem with people, like, being a certain way and, and expressing themselves, because everybody got a right to express themselves, amen? You see what I'm saying? I don't knock people if you, however you want to live, the females, uh, whatever, you know what I mean? And you know what I mean? You know how it goes. People... I don't want to be rude or whatever, but bisexual people and all that type of stuff, you see them everywhere, you know what I mean, and uh, people is people, bro, they, they got a heart, they got a body, they got a soul, you know what I mean, like, if you, once you get past all that stuff, they're people, and they just expressing themselves, you know what I mean, I don't, it's, it's not, I ain't got nothing to do with that, but they just expressing themselves, you see what I'm saying, I understand that, I don't like them for that, I don't say, nah, y'all can't come work here because y'all do, nah, you see what I'm saying, uh, Word. They ain't hurt nobody. But when you talk about God or whatever, they tell you, nah, you can't do that here. You can't. What in the world is that? <laughs> that, 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 that you see what I'm saying? But uh, I said that to say this because in the world, they're taking God out of, they trying to take the Lord out of a whole lot of stuff. America, a lot of us don't know this, and we, we taught history in the history books or whatever, but in. A lot of the teachers who, who taught us, we, we have some good teachers, but uh, <clears throat> they, they, don't, they don't teach us everything. But uh, the presidents, the, the founding fathers, like they believe in the Lord. <laughs> America was founded on the biblical principles uh, of the Lord. You see what I'm saying? The, the, the founding fathers, George Washington and all of them, like they, they believe in the Lord. I'm telling you, they weren't perfect. And some of them were slave owners and this and that or whatever. But uh, I'm telling you, man, they believe in the Lord. So a whole lot of people... Uh, I know things won't write in the past or whatever. That man who wrote Amazing Grace with uh, John Newton, he was a slave owner or whatever. The Lord uh, got in his heart. You see what I'm saying? People not perfect. Just saying. Uh, but everything be happening for a reason. But anyway, the founding fathers believed in the Lord. And that's why America was getting blessed. You see what I'm saying? But as you see now, uh, the fathers, the presidents, and the presidents, uh, they kind of, they, some of them, some, they not too godly. You see what I'm saying? Like, where? <clears throat> I say that to say this. Um, uh, I go to uh, Deuteronomy 29 real quick. Yeah, I go to Deuteronomy 29 real quick. Um, Deuteronomy 29, verse uh, 1, <clears throat> uh, the renewal of the covenant with the title to say, Moses said, uh, these are the times of the covenant the Lord commanded Moses to make with the Israelites in Moab. In addition to the covenant he had made with them at Horad, Moses summoned all the Israelites and said to them, <clears throat> your eyes, your eyes have seen all that the Lord did in Egypt to Pharaoh. This is a different Pharaoh. It's two pharaohs that popped up. Egypt was blessed uh, when Joseph was there. Joseph died, and the pharaoh that was in charge, he died also. And another pharaoh came in place. This is the pharaoh Moses talking about. This is why they left Egypt. You see what I'm saying? Because that this new pharaoh, he didn't care about God. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? He didn't care about Joseph or God. And word up, when you up, and when you in a place like that, it's time to go. I'm just saying. And that's what kind of what we live in. But I'm just talking. But, but that's another point for another day. I ain't got there yet. But uh, anyway, <clears throat> Deuteronomy 29, uh, verse two. Moses, verse two. Moses summoned all the Israelites and said to them, "Your eyes have seen all that the Lord had uh, did in Egypt to Pharaoh, to all his officials, and to all his land. With your own eyes, you saw those great trials, those signs, and great wonders." But to this day, the Lord has not given you a mind that understands or eyes that see or ears that hear. Yet the Lord says, during these 40 years that I led you through the wilderness, your clothes did not wear out, nor did the sandals on your feet. You ate no bread and drank no wine or other fermented drink. I did this so that you might know that I'm the Lord, your God. Amen. When you reach this place, shine, king of Heshbon and OG, uh, and OG, king of Bashan, came out to fight against us, but we defeated them. We took their land and gave it as an inheritance to the Reubenites, the Gadites, and the half tribe of Manasseh. Carefully follow the terms of this covenant so that you may prosper in everything you do. 
all of you who are standing today in the presence of the Lord, your God, your leaders and chief men, your elders and officials, and all the other men um, of Israel, together with the children and your wives and the foreigners living in your camps who chop your wood and carry your water, you are standing here in order to you are standing here in order to ent to enter into a covenant with the Lord your God, a covenant the Lord is making with you this day and sealing it with the oath to confirm you this day as as his people, that he may be your God as he promised you and as he swore to your fathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. <clears throat> I'm making this covenant with its oath, not only with you who are standing here with us today in the presence of the Lord our God, but also with those who are not here today. Speaking of us, Moses said this thousands of years ago, I'm making this covenant with its oath, not only with you who are standing here with us today in the presence of the Lord our God, but also with those who are not here today. You yourselves know how we lived in Egypt and how we passed through the countries on the way here. You saw among them their detestable images and idols of wood and stone and silver and gold. Make sure there's no man or woman, clan or tribe among you today whose heart turns away from the Lord our God to go and worship the gods of those nations. You see, that's what we're in today. That's, that's what America got people in. Um, but it's, 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 it's the point. <clears throat> Moses said, uh, Make sure there is no man or woman, clan or tribe among you today whose heart, heart, whose heart turns away from the Lord our God to go and worship the gods, Lord case G, the gods of those nations who make who uh, make sure there is no root among you that produces such bitter poison. When such a person hears the words of this oath and they invoke a blessing on themselves, thinking I, I will be safe, even though I persist in, in going on my own way, they will bring disaster on the water. They will bring disaster on the water land, on the water land, as well as the dry. The Lord will never be willing to forgive them. His wrath and, his, and zeal will burn against them. All the curses written in his book will fall on them and the Lord will blot out their names from under heaven. The Lord will single them out from all the tribes of Israel for disaster, according to all the curses of the covenant written, written in this book of the law. Your children who follow you in later generations, this is the whole reason I came here. When you see things get super, super hectic and chaotic around, this way, your, ch your children who follow you in later generations and foreigners who come from distant lands uh, will see the calamities that have, that have fallen on the land and the distant and the diseases and the diseases with which the Lord has inflicted it. Uh, the whole land will be a burning waste of salt and sulfur. Nothing planted, nothing sprouting, no vegetation growing on it. It will be like the destruction of Sodom and Gomorrah, Adma and Zeboim, which the Lord overthrew in fierce anger. All the nations will ask, why has the Lord done this to the land? Why this fierce burning anger? And the answer will be, it is because the people abandoned the covenant of the Lord, the God of their ancestors, the covenant he made with them when he brought them out of Egypt. They went off and worshiped other gods and bowed down to them. <clears throat> gods they did not know. Uh, gods he had not given them. Therefore, the Lord's anger burned against the land, against this land. You see? They went off and worshiped other gods and bowed down to them. Gods they did not know. Gods he had not given them. Therefore, the Lord's anger burned against the land, against this land, so that he brought on, on it all the curses written in his book. Uh, in furious and ferocious anger, in furious anger, yeah, in furious anger and in great wrath, the Lord uprooted them from their land and thrust them into another land as it is now. The secret thing, the secret, the secret things belong to the Lord our God, but the things revealed belong to us and to our children forever, that we may walk, that we that we may follow all the words of His law. Amen. It's a nice set. It's a nice section. 
uh, in Deuteronomy 30, say prosperity after turning to the Lord. Where I like that, <clears throat> I like that one a whole lot. Where I love that one a whole lot. Uh, anytime you turn and repent and turn to the Lord, the Lord always will work and fix it out. It's a nice section about that junk in the next chapter. I'm going to pick up where I left off, though, y'all. <laughs> y'all bear with me. I know it's still super early. Or that there's a few places I wanted to go to. But I think I'm going to chew. Hmm. Where the... All right. Uh, where is that, man? All right. I'm going somewhere, bro. Joseph met Pharaoh. Thank you, Joseph. Just put Pharaoh in charge of Egypt. Yeah. All right. Joseph's brothers about to come all at him. <laughs> Joseph's brothers ain't seen him since they sold him. <laughs> Word up. They think Joseph's dead. <laughs> it's been a hot little minute. <laughs> they think Joseph's dead somewhere. Nah. Hey, even when bad things happen, God take them and turn, turn them around for you. I like that. Might not be a day, might not be tomorrow. <laughs> Word up. But in God's time, he gonna turn it around for you. I love that. Absolutely do love that. Might not be today, might not be tomorrow, <clears throat> but God got a way of turning it off, turning it all around. Jason, uh, Joseph was sold as a slave to Egypt, and ended up becoming uh, Pharaoh's uh, top man. I like that. This the this Pharaoh right here, a wise Pharaoh. You know, it's a, it's it is a difference. I think it's a proverb too that say, uh, when the righteous." Uh, you find Bear with me. Give me a second. Yeah, Proverbs 29, verse 2. Proverbs, uh, <clears throat> Proverbs 29, verse 2. Brother Solomon said, when the righteous thrive, the people rejoice. When the wicked rule, the people groan. <laughs> when someone and, and when someone in charge doing the right thing, the people rejoice. Everybody loves, everybody loves this person. When a wicked person in charge, the people groan. <laughs> That's what the Bible say. Word up. <laughs> you see, uh, quite often the place is determined by the leaders. We in America, we don't know what we, we don't know what's going on most of the time. Word up, we know, we know uh, to our levels of where we live at, to what's going on, to the household. Most most black people or neighborhood people or suburban people around, like who ain't high up on scales or whatever in deep society, we we understand this on family basis, like where <laughs> the head of the home, if the, if the head of the home and stuff, uh, if you got a good person. In charge of the head of the home, the whole home liable to be happy. <laughs> like you gonna have problems, but everybody in the home rejoice. You see what I'm saying? You got someone in charge. You got someone in the house that's that's in charge and wicked. <laughs> the whole people gonna be growing. What you mean? There's gonna be a lot of problems. Am I wrong? <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. Same thing in position of power and authority. If you have work, if you got a good boss, everybody gonna love to work for this guy or woman, whoever she is or he is. Everyone gonna love to work for them. Am I wrong? But if you got a mean boss, you just, uh, people going to be like, coming to work, man. They, they're not going to be liking it. You see what I'm saying? You understand that, don't you? They, they go with a lot of things in the land. You got some word. Word up. The situation we in now, uh, Joseph was felt himself in a nice situation. He ended up going through a lot of, a lot of stuff. But the Pharaoh in charge in Joseph's days was a wise, was a wise Pharaoh. He was a wise pharaoh. Where the other pharaoh in later days was a wicked pharaoh, and that's why the people was groaning and going through slavery and stuff like where and this and that. The Egyptians made them uh, put them in slave, put slave masters over them. But anyway, Joseph's brothers about to go down to Egypt. <clears throat> they they ain't seen this dude since they sold him. <laughs> they don't even know what he looked like no more. <laughs> Joseph gonna look the same. Joseph been in Egypt for a minute. He got that Egypt. He got that Egypt. He got that Egyptian 
he got that Egyptian swag on. <laughs> Word up, you know they they switched up. <laughs> the hand look like the Hebrew no more. <laughs> Joseph got a different swag on. He even he even know how to speak Egyptian now. <laughs> I told you he was successful. Joseph went somewhere and learned a different language. A lot of people, one of y'all go somewhere, go out of town somewhere. We we'll, we'll go to Mexico somewhere or go to Brazil or Pakistan or something and get dropped off over there and get, we'll get sold over there. <laughs> you know how hard it's going to be for you to learn that language, bro? If you, if you, ain't a, if you don't catch your own face? You think you're going to rise up in power over there fast? <laughs> Without going through no wild stuff, doing no wild stuff? I, I highly doubt it. <laughs> I highly doubt it. Uh, now, it ain't too pleasant in a whole lot of places out here. Word. Mm -hmm. I highly doubt it. But Joseph went over here and learned how to speak their language and everything, bro. <laughs> Word. <laughs> All glory, honor, praise go to my, our Father in heaven. But uh, anyway, <clears throat> Genesis 42 say when Jacob learned that there was grain in Egypt, he said to his sons, <laughs> they just sitting around. You now people be doing. <laughs> you got some people be lazy in the family just sitting around, wondering what's gonna happen, just looking around at each other. <laughs> yeah, if y'all don't get up and go get some, what y'all doing? <laughs> some people, I, I love this. I love this. Even uh, <laughs> God, 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 our Father, Lord Jesus, and the Holy Spirit takes care of us. But nevertheless, when when God placed Adam in the garden, what did He do? Did He say Adam? Did he put Adam in the garden and tell him sit in a chair and don't do nothing? <laughs> Just sit? Did he say, go sit down and watch TV and don't worry about nothing? No, he said, go out. He said, work the yard. <laughs> he gave him something to do. <laughs> you know, even God, God gives us something to do. He don't want us to be just sitting around doing nothing. That's what people get so used to these that they sit around and do nothing. And where they, they try to live through other people, this and that. I don't know what people got going on these days. People be tripping. <laughs> Word, <laughs> word. Other people, then this generation is weird. Like, word. But anyway, you're supposed to be doing something. I, I got an aunt up the street right now. She's like 80 years old. She still, she go to work like six days a week. Still, she get up early in the morning. She's like 80 years old, bro. She's like 70 or 80. She, she wanted, she in between there, 70 or 80. My aunt B still get up every morning and still go to work. <laughs> These people, young, 20, no one do nothing. They talking, they, they arthritis and this and that or whatever. They got, man, y'all don't get up out of here with that. I got problem pain in my body too, bro. <laughs> right up. These people, oh. <laughs> and they still get up and go. I'm telling you. Uh, but people, these, they just sit around and <laughs> expect God to do everything for them. <laughs> God ain't going to do, he's not going to do everything for you. He gave you strength and power to do some things on your own. This is me telling you. Don't nobody tell you this. It's something I had to figure out myself. This where I spent some time learning this. Even Paul said, a man who don't work is uh, anyone who was unwilling to work shall not eat. You got to be willing to do something. Get up and get your hands there. You ain't just, they, Jesus said don't work for, 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 for food that spoils. You got to be willing to do something. You got you to, gotta, you're going to have to bust a sweat somehow, some way. You see what I'm saying? It's not about works or whatever. I'm just saying the Lord don't want you to be sitting around all the time doing nothing. <laughs> but that's what's in people's minds, that God's going to take care of their every single need. If, if that's not it, they use people to get, they use the Lord this and that to get stuff off of people. That's not right and evil. The Lord said, get your butt up and go do something. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? When it's a time when you can't do nothing, then you pray here, take care of your needs, and he know, he, he know tr truly when you can't do something. Quite often, that's done. He take he, that's done in widows' cases. He put somebody in place to provide, to provide for them this and that. But if you under sixty and you ain't got no physical ailment this and that, you can do something. I ain't talking about it. Ain't just about working. I ain't talking about just working. I'm talking about getting up, doing something. Cause a lot of people just lazy, sitting at home, don't want to do nothing. When Jacob learned that there was food, that there was grain in Egypt, he said to his sons. <laughs> They just sitting around. <laughs> Why do you just keep looking at each other? <laughs> he continued, I have heard that there, I have heard that there is grain in Egypt. <laughs> Go down there and buy and buy some for us so that we may live and not die. Then ten of Joseph's brothers, then ten of Joseph's brothers went down to buy grain from Egypt. But Jacob did not send Benjamin, Joseph's brother, with the others, because he was afraid that harm might come to him. <laughs> So Israel's sons were among those who went to buy grain, for there was famine in the land of Canaan also. Now Joseph was the governor of the land. <laughs> Joseph was sold as a slave, 
and ended up the governor. <laughs> Word up. Uh, through the through Lord Jesus Christ, man. Uh, through his uh, blessing and favor. God take, God, what's the uh, word? Y'all bear with me and give me a second. Give me a second. The king's heart. The king's heart. Proverbs 21. Proverbs 21 verse 1 say, In the Lord's hand, the king's heart is a stream of water that he channels toward all who please him. I love that. I love that. In the Lord's hand, the king's heart, whoever in charge, the president, no matter whoever in charge, the governor, the fish, no matter whoever in charge, in, in the Lord's hand, we all in the Lord's hand. Your enemy is in the Lord's hand. <laughs> uh, everyone is in the Lord's hand. <laughs> the earth, heaven, all that, the, everything that you see is in the Lord's hand. <laughs> in the Lord's hand, the king's heart is a stream of water that he channels toward all who please him. I love that. <laughs> well, Joseph was a man who pleased the Lord. <laughs> and the king and Pharaoh of Egypt, <laughs> the Lord, uh, I'm telling you, man. <laughs> I'm telling you. I love that. It's all done through the Lord. There won't nothing special about Joseph. It's all it's all about the Lord. Amen. Uh, but anyway. Now Joseph, verse 6, Genesis 42, verse 6. Now Joseph was the governor of the land, the person who sold grain to all the people. So when Joseph brothers, if you if you if you wanted something, you had to go through Joseph. Joseph sold his brothers, y'all gonna come and bow down to me. He won't say it like y'all gonna worship me as God. He's just saying, y'all gonna come have to bow down to me and, and submit to me. And they hated him for that. What you mean we're gonna come down and bow down to you, bro? What? They said, all right, we're gonna see what's gonna become of this dream. That's why they sold him. And they said, now let's see what's gonna happen to him. Let's see about this dream. Yeah, what y'all doing on y'all way to eat to see who? Joseph. <laughs> yeah. Uh, now, Joseph was the governor of the land, the person who sold grain to all the its people. So when Joseph's brothers arrived, they bowed down to him <laughs> with their faces to the ground. As soon as Joseph saw his brothers, he recognized them. He looked at them, yo, he ain't say nothing to him, but he looked at them. You know how you recognize people? I know that's who I think it is. <laughs> I don't believe this. But he ain't, but I, I, like, I like Joseph's style, bro. <laughs> Listen. Uh, as soon as Joseph saw his brothers, he recognized them, but he pretended to be a stranger. <laughs> but he pretended to be a stranger and spoke harshly to them. <laughs> Joseph, <laughs> or uh, they didn't recognize him. He recognized them. <laughs> he pretended to be a stranger and spoke harshly to them. Where do you come from? He asked. From the land of Canaan, they replied to buy food. Although, jo although Joseph recognized his brothers, they did not recognize him. Then he remembered. Then he remembered his dreams about them and said to them, "You are spies. You have <laughs> Joseph messing with him now. <laughs> Joseph remembered his dream. <laughs> it was a long time ago. God gave him his dream. Jo <laughs> Joseph probably forgot all about it. <laughs> Word up. God was blessing him, bro. He, Joseph said he forgot all his troubles. <laughs> Word up." Some things I'm telling you, man, I love this. I love this. Hmm. Joseph remembered his dreams. Uh, hmm. And he started messing with his brothers. <laughs> you got to get some type of get back just a little bit. Listen. Um, where do you come from? He asked. From the land of Canaan, they replied to buy food. <clears throat> Although Joseph recognized his brothers, they did not recognize him. Then he remembered his dreams about them and said to them, You are spies. You have come to see where our land is unprotected. No, my lord, they said. Your servants have come, have come to buy food. We are all the sons of one man. Your servants are honest men, not spies. Nah. He, no, he said to them, You have come to see where our land is unprotected. But they replied, your servants were 12 brothers, the sons of one man who lives in the land of Canaan. The youngest is now with our father and, and one is no more. Joseph said to them, 
It is just as I told you. <laughs> you are you are spies, and this is how you will be tested. As surely as Pharaoh lives, you will not leave this place unless your youngest brother comes here. Send, send one. <laughs> Joseph, wow. <laughs> uh, Joseph, uh, as surely as Pharaoh lives, you will not leave this place unless your youngest brother comes here. Send, send one of your number to get your brother. The rest of you will be kept in prison so that so that your words may be tested to see if you are telling the truth. If you are not, then as surely as Pharaoh lives, you are spies. And he, and he, and he put all of them in custody for three days. <laughs> Joseph put all of them in jail for three days. I did two years. And, and a little bit some more. Three days ain't gonna hurt. <laughs> I did two years. I was sold as a slave. Joseph was begging and screaming for his life. You ain't never been sold or begging for your life, have you? I don't think so. You don't know what that's like. From, by your own family, I, I I can imagine looking at looking into your family's eyes, your people who you love, and you seeing this done to you. You looking at that at people. I, I, I know I know I know people feel that because you got family. You I, you can't believe it. you you can't believe it, bro. You can't believe it. That y'all heard. I did two years, sold as a slave. Joseph put him in jail for three days. That ain't gonna hurt them. Three days. Sit down, think for a minute. Uh. And he put them in custody for three days. On the third day, Joseph said to them, do this and you'll live. For I fear God. If you are honest men, let one of your brothers stay here in prison. Uh, while the rest of you go and take grain back to your starving households. But you must bring your younger brother, your youngest brother to me so that your words may be verified and that you and that you may not die. This they proceeded to do. They said to one another, surely we are being punished because of our broken. We saw how distressed he was when he pleaded with us for his life. But we did not listen. That's why this distress has come on us. <laughs> they said, we saw how distressed he was. I can imagine seeing this dude kicking and screaming for his life, bro. Y'all don't even tell him. <laughs> Word up. But we would, but we would not listen. That is why th this distress has come on us. Reuben replied, "Didn't I tell you not to stand against the boy? But you wouldn't listen. Now we must give an account for his blood." Yes, sir. They did not realize. You sure did. You can't cover up sin all this time. <laughs> you can't cover up sin, baby. You hear me? The Lord let you get away with it for a little certain amount of time. Now we must have to give an account for his blood. Amen. They did not realize that Joseph could understand them since he had since he was using an, an interpreter. The whole time Joseph was talking to his brothers, <laughs> he used an, inter an interpreter. <laughs> I speak, we speak in English. <laughs> if we go somewhere else, they, they Joseph speaking to them in, in, in Egyptian language. <laughs> he got a, he got a he got an Egyptian who speak Hebrew who speak Hebrew talking to his brothers. He could have spoke to them face to face, but the whole time he was talking to them, he was using interpreters. I like that. When Joseph's brothers right now, Joseph listening to his brothers talking and his brothers don't know that he understand them. If you confess your sins, the Lord just, the Lord just, the just, and the Lord is just and will forgive you free. But you must confess your sins. You can't let, you can't just let it wear over. You see what I'm saying? The whole time I believe they still, they they just let it, they just rubbed it over. They said one, uh, they said our brother dead or whatever. The whole time they, 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 we did what we did, and never sold. It's not never over. You have to give an account for what you did. If you don't do it now, you're gonna do it later on down the line. You see what I'm saying? But you have to give an account. If you don't, you can you can do it now. It's better to do it now than later, <laughs> because there is no hope for later on. You see what I'm saying? Once you close your eyes, and then the things that you if you don't, uh, if the Lord hasn't covered your sins and you don't give account for what you did, you are gonna give an account one way or another. <laughs> Word up, people say they take you with you to the grave. Yeah, when you go to the grave, it's a courtyard that we all gotta go to, babe. 
one day it's gonna be a big house, it's gonna be a big courtyard <laughs> in, in the sky. You see what I'm saying? That it's a number that it's it's gonna be a number of people that's untold. It's 2002. You know how many people has ever been born in the world from now to the past? All the people who has ever lived gonna be there. <laughs> Word up. <laughs> Uh, it's going to be a real big place. Uh, I can't even describe it like I want to because it's out of my mind. I just know that we all going to be in his courthouse one day. <laughs> it's like every knee going to bow. Every tongue going to confess and acknowledge. And every eye going to see. Every knee going to bow and, and, acknowledge, and tongue going to gonna confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. Listen. All the angels and demons, all them, everything. <laughs> they all going to uh, admit Jesus Christ is Lord. Word. They'll see it for them. They know. But, uh, yeah, they know. But listen, you have to give an account. You can you can cover things up and let time pass by and act like it's okay, all right. <laughs> uh, all right, but that don't that don't that don't that never clear your conscience. Some people do that. <clears throat> I like what Reuben said, and Joseph was listening to his brothers the whole time. <laughs> And it hurt Joseph. I like this. I like this. I like this. I like this. Reuben replied, didn't I tell you not to sin against the boy? But you wouldn't listen. Now we must give an account for his blood. They did not realize Joseph could understand them since he was using an interpreter. He turned away from them and began to weep. It hurt him. It hurt him. Um, You, you, even though people hurt you, you don't want to see your people uh, being being a certain way. Even want, even just to love it, they ain't even go. They why? Just to see them, what they, what they, how they feel. You see what I'm saying? He turned away from them and began to weep. Then he came back and spoke to them again. He had Simeon taken from them and bound before their eyes. Joseph gave orders to fill their bags with grain to put each. Uh, to put each uh, man's silver back in his sack and to give them provisions for their journey. After this was done for them, they loaded their grain on their donkeys and left. At the place where they stopped for, for the night, one of, one of them stopped. One of them opened his sack to get food for his donkey and he saw his silver <clears throat> and he saw his silver in the mouth of, the, of his sack. My silver has been returned, he said to his brothers. Here it is in my sack. Their hearts sank. And they turned to each other, trembling, and said, What is this that God has done to us? When they came to their father, Jacob, uh, in the land of Canaan, they told him all that had happened to him. They said, The man who was Lord over the land spoke harshly to us and treated us as though we were spying on the land. But we said to him, We are honest men. We are not spies. We, we were 12 brothers, sons of one father. One is no more, and the youngest is now with our father in Canaan. Then the man who was lord over the land said to us, This is how I will know whether you are honest men. Leave one of your brothers here with me and take food for your starving households and go. But bring your youngest brother to me so I will know that you are not spies but honest men. Then I will give your brother back to you, and you can, and you can trade in the land. As they were emptying their sacks, there in each man's sack was his pouch of silver. It went, they, they, came, they came there to buy, to buy some stuff. You see what I'm saying? This scared them because they wanted to hide this guy back in their sack. Joseph told the people to put the silver back in their sack. They, they didn't know this. They probably thinking that they they thinking that they thinking the Egyptians gonna be thinking they stole their silver back. That's why they were scared. Because they didn't put the silver back in there. <laughs> Joseph had people put it back in there. And they scared to death. They're like, dang, they're going to think we stole something. Like, this dude already think we spies. They're they going to think we stole something with the quickness and, and death. Listen. Uh, when they and their father saw the money pouches, uh, they were frightened. Their father Jacob said to them, you have deprived me of my children. Joseph is no more. And Simeon is no more. And now you want to take Benjamin? Everything is against me. That's how Jacob feel. <laughs> That's how Jacob feel. Sometimes it, it, life how you feeling like that. Jacob, an old man. <laughs> Jacob, an old man. Even, even as an old man. Huh? Even as an old man. Uh, Jacob going through some things. <laughs> but 
Jacob saved God the Holy Ghost. He think everything against him. But in fact, everything working out for God working everything out for Jacob and his family in a way that he could never do on his own. <laughs> Where, you know, it's a blessing to have children, this and that. <laughs> Sometimes things seem against you, but they're not against you. Actually, God working them out for you. We just can't see it and understand it in our way. But it, it seems like everything against us. I know somebody feel me on that because sometimes it will seem like everything against you. Every loss ain't a loss, what it looks like. But Jacob thought he lost his son, but he didn't. Then Reuben said to his father, uh, you may, <clears throat> then Reuben said to his father, you may both, uh, you may put both of my sons to death if I do not bring them back to you and trust them to my care and I will bring them back. But Jacob said, my son, my son will not go down there with you. His brother is dead and he is the only one left. If harms, if harm comes to him on a journey, you are taken. You will, you will bring, you will bring my gray head down to the grave in sorrow. Um, I like this because Reuben said to his father, uh, trust him to me. You you can you can take my you can have both my sons if I don't bring them back. But Jacob said, nah, I ain't doing that. But in the next in the next chapter, Judah, uh Judah stepped up. And I, I it's, it's something special about Judah stepping up. Like where I like that. Judah's Judah's willing to take the place uh to to take to take the place to be uh to take the punishment. Right up. Jesus come from the tribe of Judah. And Jesus actually took the place of our punishment. And in the next in the next few chapters, I want, I'm gonna get off here. I want to keep reading because if I don't get if I don't get off, I'm gonna keep reading, it's gonna take me another hour. It's a nice little story, like where Jake, we don't want to send a son back. Because uh Joseph and Benjamin are blood brothers. The rest of them, uh Joseph got 12 brothers. Out of the ten, they have they have brothers, uh, Joseph and uh, Joe. Hold on. Yeah, I believe Joseph and Benjamin. Uh, yeah, I believe Joseph, Joseph and Benjamin, like the two. I, I think I believe I gotta go back and look, but I know Joseph and Benjamin. They 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 close. I think they is. I think they is two blood brothers. Like where, <clears throat> but anyway. Benjamin, Benjamin, he won't dare. He ain't sell Joseph as a slave. He, he won't even uh, there yet, I believe. But yeah, but uh, I like this though. I like I like this. Jacob ain't give. Uh, he wasn't willing to let Benjamin go down there with uh, with Reuben. But Judah stepped up. There's something special about when Judah stepped up. He was willing to take the place on the chopping block. And so in a sense, Jesus, uh, Jesus did the same thing. On a greater scale, I, I love that he took Jesus actually took the place on the chopping block for us and laid his life down for us. You see, Judah was willing to do it right here, though, because something happened in a few chapters. I want I, I'm gonna get off here. I want to keep reading, but I'm gonna get off here. God bless y'all. Uh, little by little, y'all y'all keep spending time in God's word. It's the best best time best time you will ever spend your time, man. That's the best choice. The best time you can spend is time in God's word. I like that. Keep on asking the Lord for the Holy Spirit. He's going to give it to y'all. He's going to give it to you. You never get step two till you take step one. You never get step two till you take step one. Um, yeah. My mind lost. Because I want my, my mind lost. I want to keep reading. Word up. I forgot about to say. <laughs> to be honest, which if y'all keep praying for me, I keep praying for y'all. <laughs> Uh, delight yourself in the Lord. He'll give you desires of your heart. I like that. I like that. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, Y'all keep on asking the Lord for the Holy Spirit. Don't stop if he ain't give it to you. Yeah, he'll, he'll probably give it to you in your sleep and you don't know it. <laughs> like where? Until you spend some time with him and then you be like, oh, he'll be like, because <laughs> he'll, give you, he'll give you a gift. You, you won't even know it yet till you, you don't, a lot of people don't know they can play music or do something today, so they can sing with the Lord. You know what I mean? Today, word. Work. The Lord will do something for you. Don't don't even know if He gave you something to do until you use it. Until you done dug down and found it. <clears throat> but um, God bless y'all. I see y'all again.